So welcome to session four of our VMware ICM class. We've covered a lot of material already this week, and we've got a lot of cool things to talk about this afternoon. But before we do that, I actually have a review question for you. So my question is, how many virtual switch connection types are there? And it's a number between two and five. So if you would, in the lower right-hand corner, go ahead and submit your vote. And I can see that some of you are already submitting it. Great. By the way, every vote counts. OK. Great. OK, so it looks like the majority of you got the answer correct. The answer is two. The two connection types that we have are a VM port group, which allows our virtual machines to communicate with each other or to the outside world. The second connection type that we have is a VM kernel port. A VM kernel port is used for management, IP-based storage, and vMotion. So it's a very important uh, part of our network configuration. Oh, I see that I have a question coming in. So, so Brett, go ahead and fire up your webcam and ask away. Hey Vince, I've got a question about the vMotion process. If I have a lot of virtual machines running at the same time, will it slow down my EXSI performance? So great question, Brett. But before we answer that question, what is vMotion? Well, vMotion allows me to migrate an up and running virtual machine from one ESXi host to another ESXi host while users are accessing it. Why would we want to do that? Well, let's say that the resources on one host are scarce and we've got resources available on another host. We could migrate that over so it gets the resources it needs. Another reason we might want to do that is because of maintenance. If we need to do maintenance on the physical host, we can migrate off all the virtual machines and do the maintenance. So what are we actually doing with vMotion? Well, the first thing we do is we pre-register the VM on the second host. We create a memory bitmap, and the memory bitmap is collecting any changes to the memory while we're migrating. Then we migrate over the physical memory. Then at the last second, we migrate over the bitmap, and then we register that on the second uh, ESXi host. So we've migrated it over. And it's really, really simple to do. I've got my VM here, and I right click on it, and I go down to migrate. And I have two choices, either host or data store. In this case, we're going to change host. Click next. Then I choose which server I actually want to migrate it to. And I click next. I click next again. And then I can choose high priority or standard. In this case, we're going to use high priority. So I click next and finish. And then we've migrated. So Brett, hopefully that answers your question. But if others have questions, make sure that you use our campus website, where you can ask a mentor and get some additional information around this ICM class. So now at this point, I'm going to give you some extra tips and tricks from my good friend, Ken Willard. So Ken, go ahead, take it away. 